Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Voice is still a little weird, but it's okay. We can do this. We can golf. And golf. We could- I could not have been more wrong. I had it as the peak <laughs> And so far with the three iron, I see. This vinegar solution is doing wonders for my hair. I can't believe we didn't stock it before now. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna take a look-see around here and see the new dialogue going on since the murder investigation has been over and everyone's basically innocent. Soda bar only opens up at night. So yeah, I see. A crafty woman managed to get her book down somehow. Must find somewhere better to hide it. I know of a painting that has a secret hatch that you could hide. Uh, never mind, never mind. Sauna? Still not. I mean, it's relocked, I should say. I still think that bearded man is a werewolf. <laughs> Dinner? Things aren't so hectic at lunch. I can deliver the meals myself. Alright, you do that. Can I still hide under tables? No, I cannot. Table hiding is over. Um, up here? How are you liking that modern equipment? I haven't a clue what you're talking about. <laughs> Would you mind taking something to the bag room for me? I'm busy. So yeah, so is he like hiding the modern equipment for himself or is it Jerome hiding it in the secret room or something? Exactly, exactly. I'm not too sure, but there's definitely... I never checked that before, but there's definitely some contraband going on around here with those new clubs we found in the secret room behind the painting. So yes, so this is still open. Uh, yeah, laundry tokens are all used up, or at the very least we can't get any more out of there. We can't even go in that other... <laughs> oh, she's, she's not distracted anymore. Alright, so... Where are we off to now, then? You guys? You and Coach are scheming, aren't you? Uh, I'm beginning to think Laura might be in incompatible with this course. Come to see me when you find the old rule book. So, we gotta find the... I think we found the place we can get the old rule book. The tidy six is no, no, don't, don't keep saying that. You're looking nice today, Rudy. Uh, why are you letting your car idle? That's wasting gas and creating more climate change. Many youngsters find they can't keep up when they come to our course. Morning, young feller. So how about that round? I only golf with good friends, but I do have a debt to repay, so I will meet you in the middle. I'll accompany you on your round and give you some pointers. I've got a lot of local knowledge. Let me know when you're ready to head out. So we're gonna play the course for realsies? Okay, now this is what I was wondering, because I didn't equip the uh, antique clubs, or at least all the antique clubs. So will, will they let me play the course if I don't have them equipped? Ready to head out? No. Yes. <laughs> will they? Will they really? Or is it just for the tournament that I have to use the antiques? I don't know, but it looks like we're on a... Looks like we're using a cart to get around here, and we're off to play our first round on Tidy Park! Finally! We usually play putters only on this hole to warm up. Are we really gonna? Uh... Wait a second. S are, since we're trying to impress them as quote-unquote good friends, is this like a test for me to use just... like? Putters for the whole hole, or or whatever directions that were given, or should I just play it normally? Because I know if I play it normally, I'll get a much better score than if I use putters. Remember when I used the putters before on this? But I think I should just try and play it normally and see what has to be said about that. Because maybe I'll just automatically fail if I play it wrong, or not. <laughs> I see. Since I'm on the quote unquote. Green, though, uh, I mean, I'm in the rough that gave me the rudder or the puddle ridge, but since I'm on the quote-unquote green, I will putt this. It doesn't appear to be any noticeable s slope. I thought I was going to miss that based on the bounce out, but we're okay. We're okay. All right, stroke play is going well. So if the course is this, sh I was going to say, if it's this short, like that first hole, I'm going to have a pretty easy time playing it. A six is a good score on this hole. Oh, I disagree. <laughs> uh, what if I were to try and... I don't know. I think if I hit it there, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end up knocking it in the water no matter how much spin I put on the ball. Oh, I just noticed. 
they forcefully made me put my antique clubs on, so I really do have to play with all antique clubs. They just didn't complain when I had the other clubs in my inventory. Okay. Okay, see, I thought I... I wasn't paying attention to that. Uh, but okay, I'm just gonna hit back over here, and then launch it over to the green from there. Um... That was not what I was going for at all, obviously. I, I plan to play that safe, but... Looks like I'm using my rudder to get maximum distance out of this, because I remember that the rudder was by far the best club for the job out of these puddly water areas, so... Is that gonna go in the other water? Ah, oh, Maybe a 6 really is a good score on this hole. <laughs> wasn't kidding there. Uh, wait, hold on, hold on. Oh, oh, that's right, I can't cancel it when I start it. Whoops! Amateur mistake. What I was gonna do is, uh, take a power shot. Give myself a little extra oomph out of it. I don't know if that's gonna be helpful, but we'll see. I noticed that the power thing goes down, too, so I guess you get three per round. Which is like uh, Mario Golf's six per round, because they're 18 holes, so it's split in half. Or wait, actually, hold on, you see that? Hold on. Or is that meter just go up after every shot, and then you, uh, and then what you do is you recover that after, like, you, you can use it whenever it's got a segment of that meter. Maybe. I am learning something, trying new stuff, can you believe it? <laughs> yeah, I didn't play that all that well, but it was still a 5 over a 6. So, yeah, that was my own fault for that whole flub in the, in the water. I should have just hit it out max power. Whatever. <laughs> just just, just show one for it, but no, no. I thought I could cancel it out, but no, no, no. Play along this path. No need to try to take the water on. Uh, I don't think I can take the water on, actually. Um, unless you count this water as taking the water on. Mm, yeah, this this course seems like the a very positiony sort of type of course. Like it's it's risky to go for the long ball here. So, I should probably just go ahead and just relax, take some nice, gentle shots, go with the flow, see if I can get eagles. <laughs> it seems that it, Oh, wow, that re Whoa! That really flew, dang it. <laughs> yeah, I know I was using my driver, but... It, oh, no, that... Oh, I thought that... I was... I thought... Oh, yeah, that's right, the different textures. I thought I was landing it in rough, because this is different colored than this, but this is the rough texture. This is fairway, so is this like a speedy, fast kind of fairway, like Mario Golf then? Because that really flew, even even for fairway. I don't know, I guess I'll find out. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely, definitely rough there. Yeah, I'm so used to the, just the regular greens of, you know, the coloration and the striping and stuff like that. When I came on here, it's kind of throwing me off. <laughs> but I think if I played this course a bunch of times, it'd all be just be like reflex after a while, and then I would demolish it probably. All right, hole four. That actually looks like a pretty nice place to aim right there, so let's not question it. We go right down the middle of the water, or just go right in the water. Sure, that's, that's not what I was going for. I thought the wind would have taken it more to the left, but oh wait, wait, oh that looks good. This actually looks good. Give a little topspin, a little more rollouts, a little more mill tank action, and, uh, well, eh, is that something that I should be putting or shipping? Because remember, we were taught here before that we should probably use a different method depending on your distance, but I'm going to try a putt. I accept using a putt, because that seemed to be the best idea. <laughs> Just max out that power from that distance, I guess. It doesn't look like there's any slope around the hole. Oh, good lord! That's like deep, super deep rough around the hole. The queen is a little over... Yeah, you think? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the rough to my advantage and just kind of hit into it to lower my run out and land it on the fairway, in theory. Man, I cannot get... <laughs> I cannot get my ball to land on target this place! This is a surprisingly difficult hole. At least I'm in a bunker, though, and not in a puddle. The puddles really kill your distance, because you can basically only use the rudder out of it, 
Ooh, nailed that right on the mark. Now I necked a tree there. <laughs> Didn't know I was hitting through the tree, but that still worked. Now do I putt or do I chip? I guess I putt, but I probably have to hit it hard. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm just kind of going by improvisation here. It's working out pretty decently. Other than that second hole, but details. Uh, this, this is a one-shot hole for me. Yes. <laughs> Those bunkers, though. I'm going to have to land it short and bounce it over them. Those bunkers are in really awkward positions. In the puddle. Can I putt out of the puddle, or is it just going to do like, like stub in the... Yeah, it just looks like it's just going to stub, even at max power. <laughs> so I guess I'll rudder it. And... Get it close, aim a little to the left. Touchy touchy, this looks good though. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. yes! <laughs> well, so far, even with my trouble, I'm five out of six in birdies, so looking good in the neighborhood. And uh, that's a lot of puddle. <laughs> lots and lots of puddle. Just use a mid iron and take it easy on this hole. Okay, I'll use driver. There's <laughs> so much fairway down there, why wouldn't I use driver? Nice. Okay, maybe there's less fairway than I thought because there's that bunker there, but it's a par 5. Might as well. Oh, I could actually bounce that on the green now, couldn't I? Alright, my play club. Go! Yeah, I know it's a driver, but it says play club, so why not? Oh, near albatross! Oh! Oh, it's painful to be that close and not get the albatross, but I will take an eagle. And so six under par, do seven holes, baby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, what do you have to say as a quote-unquote tip for playing this hole this time? Anyway, <laughs> I don't even know if this is going to work, because remember, oops, that's going to be in the bunker, because remember I said at the start of the round, I, uh, I, I don't know if I was supposed to follow the advice or not, but I have not been following the advice at all. I'm trying to bounce this on the green with my brassy. Nice little rollout. Ooh, ah, well, that was close to what I was going for. I wanted it to roll out a bit more, but... Oh wait, wait, actually, I could I could actually use a lower lofted club to my advantage. Instead of my rudder, I'll use my spade. And it'll definitely lose its distance with the 8 yard range. I see, I see. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe I should have used the rudder. I don't know. I got a par though. That's another that's a birdie I missed out on. Just a badge I missed out on. Sad face. Next one. Um, let's aim for a solid bogey on this hole. <laughs> I disagree against the par 3. Uh, so, if that's like a super speedy fairway, then I should probably land it like there and let it roll out, right? Right, right? At least I think. It's like to kind of let it go. No, it looked like regular fairway, and it is regular fairway, so that's a different... So that's a different color of fairway, but it's still fairway. Uh... I'll just putt it. Max power. Right into the right into the pin. Oh! It didn't slow it down like I thought. <laughs> That's okay. I will still accept the par as a good score for my Ooh, that almost didn't par. Bogey might have ended up good after all. Six under par. Was that a success? I guess it was, so I guess that's uh <laughs> I don't know. I, I I was told to use certain etiquettes and certain ways to play the hole, but I did not play it that way at all. I agree, that was a pretty good first round. <laughs> you still have much to learn, but course knowledge comes eventually. So, about that membership. What should we do next? We won't be doing anything else today. What? Why not? Blinkwitz on the course. Oh. So, they're still demolishing the place? We got- We, we, we gotta do hit balls at them like we did the Great Wizard in a boss battle? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> I knew I'd be embroiled in this sooner or later. I'll see if I can get rid of them. 
There's nothing that can be done. Gloria has been telling them off all the morning. Hasn't made a headway yet. <sighs> Gonna call the police on them. I know them. Maybe I can work something out. Hmm. Hmm. Many youngsters find they just can't keep up when they come to records. I did decently, I'd say. And uh, no. No. No, no, no. Uh, how about you? You said you were good to speak with your contemporaries. Okay. So, oh, I just noticed the camera is kind of kind of low on its battery. So maybe it's a good idea to split this up and do it in the next part. So I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I probably get a whole bunch of side quests from the guys over at Lawn Bowling. So, yeah. <laughs>